Hello everyone. Welcome to Top Trading Edge. Today we're going to take a look at the Roblox. They have their earning tomorrow, Tuesday, after hours. So let's take a look at it. What's going on with the Roblox? Uh, before we start the video, this video is for education purpose only. I do not recommend uh, to buy, sell, or any sort of uh, stocks or investment. For your financial advice, please consult with your professional financial advisor. All right. So let's get started. As you can see in this video, in this chart right here is the support. As you can see right here. So this support basically is the major support right here. One time, two time, three time right here, right? So this support. So we need to, right now we are right here at the support area, which is major area. But as you can see from the dates are here on the bottom, right? So when I cursor here, 22nd November 21st, so almost like four months has been selling, three, four months has been selling off right here. And then when when we drop this, uh, when we broke this sloping support right here, and then I said this is bearish. Why? Because you see the purple line is 100 day moving average. Once we broke that, that is very bearish sign. And then since then, that time from $95, it's heading went to, $53, tested $53, but it broke the main support. This is normally an entry zone area, but now the market condition changes. So I would not call it entry zone because now market always uh, look for many other parameters before anybody wants to buy any stocks. Earlier, everything is like boom, boom, boom. Let's go get into the ride and in and out. So people used to do like that. Now people will uh, think twice before getting into the, if that stock is, um, you know, worthy to get in or not the, do, do the company have a cash flow or not do they have a good eps or not so earning per share so there are many parameter people look at it and before they get into the any stock to buy and you know invest so anyway so this is all been uh, saying is trend bearish this is been trend is bearish why do i call trend bearish so i'll just explain you a little bit here this is the main resistance hundred and forty one dollar rejected then it, this it tried hundred and forty one there was no buyer then hundred and thirty five tried to break through but again failed so buyer was not did not like that price then again this resistant tried 124 buyer did not like that price then we tried this area also sloping now we look at how stiff it is this sloping resistance right so every time this resistant try to test it get failed right here hundred and four dollar got rejected so several times keep trying and it fail. So market always offer the liquidity to the to the buyers and see if buyer accept the prices. So since then, if you look at it from 140, 141, it keep falling, keep falling all the way to 53. And then 53, there was a reverse. You see a lot of green candle coming in. So there are two things I can see in this chart at this moment because this major support broken. So people like this price. Oh, okay, this was the below price. So let's go buy it because earning is coming. And many people are bullish because there's a lot of other sentiment plays in the market where people think, oh, this could be a good earning. Let's play a little bit here and there. So, so people are right now buying here. But remember, that could be a trap setup also. There is a two side of the coin we need to always look. There is no way we can just blindfold ourselves and say, hey, last 15 days it's been grinding higher. So this is a bullish sign. It's a good, strong reversal because market maker do play dirty games and to trap all the bulls and then they dump it. As you can, as you know, a firm, right? Just to show you real quick, they did the same thing. And I did say that at time too. Look, is it grinding higher? Right here, look like 15 days. They took it to the $80. I told everybody this is a resistance. And must, whenever I say resistance, we got to take our position out, particularly earning time. Do not hold, take the profit. Then somebody was asking me now, after earning, somebody wanted to buy at $58. I said, no, the, now the earning is over. It can feel, look at the constant still faring, right? So it's not the value now. Time has gone for the value. So don't look at the value. So please understand this. So whenever, um, when I make a video, I will try to be very honest. My experience, 20 years of experience, I'll try to speak here, explain you here. I I understand many people, 99% people who are watching this video, they are bullish people. I tell you guys, I will not speak just because you guys like it. I will speak what I see. 
So when I see here, this is the sloping support has been building. It looks like a little bullish. But this, remember, you need a stronger confirmation. Do you see this? Any candles are stronger at the end. There are three things I'll show you why I'm not bullish on this particular. So far, I'm, why I'm not bullish on this. It could be a trap because this candle, look at this today's candle market is look like a doji candle, no direction. And this resistance is got rejected. It tried to poke through and came back and closed. So it could not close the one, two, three, four, last four days been trying, but small resistance, oversold care category. We are not talking resistance here. We're talking here. So it's not poked through. Now market is waiting for the earning. If earning is good, then it can poke through and go through. So, okay. Uh, what else I see that in this chart? Look at this. You see the blue line crossing uh, and to the purple line and then uh, the red line underneath. So we, this is all this fast moving average so 50 day moving average is the blue line purple line is a 100 day moving average and a red line is 200 day moving average so these are all average prices so, so if you look at the distance between here here and here look at the blue has a more gap between the red uh, purple right and then now is grinding down why because all the there is no buyer here so now 50 day moving average is crossing 100 day moving where right here you see this price but this trend, 50 day is going down and this one going up. I do not like this because whenever you see this 50 day moving average is crossing down, that's a bearish trend. Remember, trend is a cycle. That cycle takes a time to create. Now you need to cross this, which will take a cycle. It cannot be one day or two days. You need a proper cycle to turn and change that, right? You need a drastic change in the price in order to change this trend. So we need this trend to change so that's why i also wrote here that 70 dollar right here 70 is now support to watch if it cross right about 89 dollar to cross then i will be bullish so 89 dollar is this area right here need to cross this 100 day moving average right here 100 day moving average above then i can be bullish because we are then we broke the sloping support sloping resistance as you can see we did break the sloping resistance but we are right there we are not far and we are not moving anywhere so only depends on the earning now. So what I always teach everybody on mostly I'm active on very Twitter. So on a Twitter account. So if you like, uh, if you are on Twitter, you can, you know, follow me uh, on Twitter and then you can get all the alerts and you can ask me any questions. And I always re respond back on the on Twitter. So now if you look at here, everything is looking good so far, right? It's, it looks undervalued because people think, oh, it's cheap. Most of the people they think, oh, is inexpensive because you used to be hundred and fifty dollar. Now is it will fly because market is oversold and it's gonna now it's gonna come back and all. Look, we cannot believe in hope. We cannot believe in hypothetical uh, scenario and just keep uh, you know pumping money into it. And as I show, showed you, up from rights, uh, same thing can happen here also. So save your money, whatever the money you have, because market conditions are now different and i'm not gonna more talk into more what about market condition if you want to know more, more about the market condition i have a, a youtube channel i created and you can read this one um, go through this stock market crash fair see that this one stock market fed one go through this video is very very important to understand where the market how market looking like where is gonna go how it feel like because you need to understand little fundamental now I, we don't have time on this particular video where we're going to talk about fundamentals many other things but at least based on my experience and uh, that video if you can read the i mean go through then you might get some idea about the market then you before you become bullish on that all right so if you go to youtube and type drop trading edge Right, same there is this name top trading edge one word. You type it on um, uh, YouTube and you 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 will see my channel and then uh, you can look through that um, uh, stock market crash. And so anyway, so now trying to break is not happening. Now let's take a look at it. What what are the scenarios that that this is not a trap or or a trap? What it could be, right? So let's take a, take a look at it here financial so we're gonna right here what are the expectations so let's do previous earning we could we had to take a look at what are the earnings were right so in august 2021 that time the market was super bullish their earning was 665 million so pretty much they were 
they could not achieve that 684 and they could achieve 665 so both eps also was negative they were they were supposed to be positive 12 cents but they there was negative so way way different so they missed that also then this one the, was the previous one which was november one which is summertime kids everybody were home and they played a lot of games right so the estimate was 618 million dollar they achieved 637 which is good revenue was good but earning per share they're expecting 13 but their revenue um, i mean earning per share reported negative so whenever eps is negative which is stay away from those stocks now okay that's very very careful because now people are going to look for a company who is at least generating some sort of earning good earning positive earning nobody wants to go in a negative mode because it's not a time to test the test your company i mean people don't want to you know now invest more into the company who has in the testing time so same thing here now let's go 637 and negative 13 cents so right here now they are ex expecting 772 million they could not achieve here the 600 now they are expecting almost close to 800 million which i have a doubt on it why i'll show you another thing here 800 almost 800 million why 800 million is not achieved because company market cap is 40 million 40 billion okay so if you take a look at the 40 billion but their outstanding shares are way high they have a 527 million shareholders so they have to share that pie so whatever the revenue they have they are making 1.6 billion revenue right and they have to share the pie with this many shareholders now they have to expense all this we need to minus that's why they have eps i'm saying right here eps is negative because there's a lot of other expenses involved in that that's why eps they need to be positive where but they are they're not expecting positive so that's why people don't most of the uh, most of the buyer don't get into the company has eps is negative so uh, uh, time has changed now so anyway if you look, take a look at it now forward pe ratio here is 116 times so what is forward pe ratio is forward pe ratio is the share price divided by so whatever the price of the share 68 divided by um eps but eps is negative so even if you if you minus negative is not going to come out so basically bottom line is here earning per 116 time earning per share you who gonna pay in this market for the company uh, yeah you can think of oh they are um, good gaming in meta and all those are headlines i mean yes they have a technology but at, at this moment time has changed now if you, if you want to invest in the future there's a kathy wood etf you can buy but that etf is 70 percent down right now so same thing will happen here also we don't want to be in a uh, you know daytime dream we want to be in a reality because time market condition has changed hope you understand i always tell the truth what i feel because i have i used to be bullish on many many script in my life before and then i lost a lot of money so i like to teach you what i feel what because then i conquered my different different weak weaknesses the moment you conquer your weaknesses you 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 will have a passive income otherwise you'll be taking all your paycheck and putting into stock market and you always believe that oh I'm, i hope this stock will do better in earning that is not right way to trade invest with the put some time behind you know, fundamentals learn those little technicals learn many um, financial side political side geopolitical side what are the impact would be on the market then you could be a better investor so my advice to everybody each and every individual i'm a very small guy on youtube because i'm just started three weeks ago but my con content of my video is is i don't find much of the people who can only talk technicals they would not tell the truth because they they always like to have a likes on youtube now i'm I, uh, you know i i i know that but i my things will not allow me to say like that i always tell whatever i feel whatever i see so hope you guys get the real value out of this video because based on this forward p ratio 116 time per 116 time forward p ratio is way high so based on this 68 dollar price forget about this we are not even talking here at this price so that's why just be a little, little careful because market maker already have a computer and they they can analyze each and every detail and they can see this is a balloon stock no matter what many company will fail value stop looking time has gone for the value now
so be careful guys and i explain it to you up from a f r m right same thing also i understand many people dream about this meta and these kids are playing this and all but i if 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 you are if you think i am very very bullish on this and all my advice if i were there not, not i'm not going to give anybody advice but i always try to educate you uh, i don't give financial advice but i always educate you that if i were there i would put my money or take a little loss and go on a side and wait and watch let the earning take the decision because there is nothing is running away that is going to go to fly high fly flying because time has changed now market condition has changed so I'd, i would get on side whatever the loss would be or whatever the profit would be if somebody who enter here they have a loss somebody buy it here they are at the even price somebody bought it here they are thinking it's going to go here but hey you know uh, my advice is right here you know is hope is your biggest enemy in stock market keep in mind whenever you trade because the hope is the one who make you lose your 95% trade remember 95% that's why i always say in a stock market when you trade hope keep at home and then you uh, trade otherwise there you're going to lose all the time money that's why even institution 85% including institution they lose money in the stock market why because they they are somewhere they are lacking in analysis like i said you know many many analysis or lose um, money because they have there is somewhere they do mistakes if you are good at only fundamental but you are not, not good at technical charts then also you lose because check technical analysis also give you a mirror image because these are real price action each day this kind of actions are happening so if so why so many red because there is a lot of sell going on somebody is selling insider selling shorts are selling me several things is happening that's why these candles are here i don't believe in headline those could be a fur those could be anything we don't know nancy pelosi bought roblox so let's go and buy you don't know what are the games going on they that would be investment somebody made something and they play dirty games to you you know because they know social media is like a you know in one day you can reach to the billions of people and millions of people and then people um, you know become bullish and they buy and then set up a trap so this is what can happen so you do not want to fall in trap you want to see the real action this is your gps you know if you have a gps you you reach to the destination but if you don't have the gps you're going to go around loop around fail around waste your time waste your money waste your gas like this so if this is your gps chart give you mirror image you understand that and then you take your actions you will not fail this is the my best advice educate yourself invest money into the education and learn out of it and then you'll be pro rather than keep wasting money on every day just because you think well, i'm bullish you have to understand so there are so many stocks also could be a bullish but this particular i'm i feel like uh, i have be on a side because we hit the resistance so that's all guy i don't give too long lectures on this one but looks like uh, just be on a side as as i i feel on this one uh, but still you can anal- analyze if you have more further analysis you can uh, go through few more videos uh, like i said i mentioned to you right here this video can guide you why i what what do i feel about it you can go through that channel top trading edge and see if you like it um, like subscribe also and if you really really want to be a successful follow me on youtube i just started 3 weeks ago and like subscribe i need your guys help because i my contents are really really thoroughly analyzed and then i i put it with my 20 years experience so and i would really appreciate because uh, you know if, if you give your time to me uh, you know learning but also it helps me to you know reach to the more audience also so uh, i would really appreciate again and i'm busy i'm active on twitter also so same handle name is top trading edge uh, on twitter and if you have any questions comments you can do uh, comment under below and i'll be able to answer your questions or you can go to the twitter handles and you can ask me the questions i will be able to respond you back i would highly appreciate guys um, thank you for being here and giving me your time uh, until next thank you very much bye